famed port city of Rotterdam, we began with 32 teams in the PartyPoker.net World Cup of Pool. 16 teams have sailed home. 16 remain. Thirty-two countries came to Rotterdam to battle it out. They all wanted to win the World Cup of Pool. So far, we've seen a mix of brilliance and upsets. Croatia knocked out the seeded Russians. Japan slammed seeded Spain. France eliminated Italy, seeded nine. Korea upset the odds against Vietnam. And finally, Singapore sling out the number four seeds, Germany. Now we're into round two. The last 16. We're playing nine ball. There's just one goal. The PartyPoker.net World Cup of Pool. This is how they line up in round two. In a moment, we'll see the Philippines, the defending champions, take on Croatia. Asian nations reflecting the popularity of nine ball in that part of the world. China, Japan, Singapore, Korea, and Taiwan all through. But now let's meet the players from the Philippines and Croatia. We are defending champions, so we gotta defend our uh, title, you know. We're playing good, you know, and uh, I think we have no problem, and uh, we just uh, work together. It was the pairing of Django and Bata that won this trophy just one year ago. Now I have the feeling that we have a lot to lose. We can go out of the tournament. As a first match, we will try to, to play uh, just our game and uh, have a conversation in, in a, just a really, really uh, special situations. Not, not every shot, you know. The Croatian pair living up to their nicknames, a model upset by the unpredictable pair in round one, giving them victory over the seeded Russians. Let's join your master of ceremonies, John McDonald. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to the Outlander here in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. It's the party poker.net, the World Cup of Paul. Brought to you by Matchroom Sport, and a very warm welcome to our viewers joining us here in the second round. Referee is Michaela Tab, and time to meet the players. They are the reigning and defending World Cup champions. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Philippines, Francisco Django Bustamante and Efren Bata Ria. Legends of the sport. Francisco Bustamante leads Efren Reyes into the main arena here. This is who they've all come to see. More titles between those two than you could possibly count. Two of the greatest players ever to wield a cue stick, and they are the tournament's defending champions and top seeds. Welcome the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, from Croatia, it's Filip Stojanovic and Ivica Putni. We've just met a couple of Goliaths. Here tonight, cast in the role of David, Ivica Putnik and Filip Stojanovic of Croatia, making their debuts in the last 16 of the PartyPoker.net World Cup of Pool. A more muted reception for them. The majority of the crowd, of course, on the Filipino side. And time 
to join our commentary team of Phil Yates and Jim White. Well, the Croatian duo have to use this moment. Everybody expecting a stellar performance from the Philippines. They have to come out here and let their cues go, Phil, like they've got nothing to lose. And let's not forget that all of these fans here, that means an extra burden of expectation for Reyes and Bustamante. And they almost succumbed to it in the first round. Only beating Scotland by eight racks to six, and that could easily have gone 7-7. Well, 53 years of age, Efren Reyes, 10 years his junior, Check Django this. Bustamante, but Stojanovic and Putnik have a tall order. If it was basketball, I like their chances. Or tennis, Jim. The lag to see who will kick off first here in this race to eight, second round action. It's gonna be the Philippines. The lag. Yeah. Yeah. Bustamante, you expect to see him the one breaking. No, he He's got an unbelievable break. He's been clocked the at the lag. fastest the in the world the at 43 miles an hour. It went over the, the middle of the table. No. No, no, I win the love. I win the love. Vustamante thought he'd won the lag. Which, which one? Philippines went no, over the middle. No, he was here. Yeah? He was here. Yeah. What? Your, your ball went over the middle of the table. Can you? Yeah. Wow. We got, I've never heard yeah, of that before, Phil. Here. I've got to be honest. It's not there. Well, Michaela Tubbs' argument was that the Filipino yes. cue ball went over the middle of the table. It can't cross the middle line of the, the table. Well, it's not across the middle line. I have to I say, by the diamond, uh, that Manila. wasn't past Isa the Manila. diamond. Ah, Isa oh, I think that is a face of confusion, bewilderment. Well, no one's played more pool than those two, and I guarantee you they've never heard of that before in their lives. Oh, yeah. Passed at any part of the ball that goes across the middle of the Well, table. she's explaining it now. If that is the rule, then I can't yeah, fault her because right, half of that cue ball, right. it was sitting right on the middle line. So half of that cue ball. I don't understand. The, 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 the middle line of the table, your balls come down and it's it's gone partially over the line. And it's not, it's not allowed to go over the line. It, it must stay on your side of the table. Okay, so because it's it's come over here, then they win the lag, right? Yeah, one, one, one. Well, I don't what know. choice have they got? Yes, go ahead. I don't know. If you say so, you're the ref. I've never heard of it. They haven't heard of it. Thank They've you. played all over the world. Race to eight but you know something, Phil? Race, this race table, and I'm going to let you know, it drifts towards the middle. So the lag, having won or been won, awarded by default to Croatia. And as it's turned out, so what? Well, I wonder if the pool gods decided to play a hand early. I believe that's the fourth dry break we've seen. The crowd mumbling about that lag decision. Well, the way Michaela's explained it, if that's the rule, Phil, she's absolutely spot on. She is. As it's turned out, it's done the Philippines a backhanded favor. Funny how it goes. The Philippines found no humor in it, nor will they. They watched Croatia in their opening round match, taking out the seeded Russian pair. And they don't want to give them any momentum with which to try and build in this second round tie. Tell you what though, Jim, if the Philippines make as many unforced errors as the Russians did, I'll swim back to England.
You in a bathing suit, Phil? I think that's a sight that I just as soon forget. Me and Speedos go together like Francisco Bustamante and Efren Reyes and pool titles, not. Just want to leave Django a little angle on this eight or close to it. He's got to get that cue ball back down for the nine and he's nice and close to it so he'll be able to draw this straight back. He didn't come back very much. Even 53 year old eyes shouldn't be bothered by this one. Yes, the last time Reyes missed a pot like that, the internet hadn't been invented. Philippines draw first blood despite the lag confusion. Philippines won, Croatia nil. Certainly brought into question here. And if you look at the diamond, which dissects the middle of the table, you can see that the cue ball of Bustamante is right on that center line. There's the diamond. Michaela's just moved the chalk, the diamond on the left, Without a doubt, that cue ball on that line. And if that's the rule again, and I wouldn't question her for a second. She gave a very cogent explanation. If any part of the second ball rack. is over that line, then leading by one rack to nil. it's nullified. But look at the cue ball start to swing over that way. As I said, everything goes towards the middle here. We saw it in the last match. Rodney Morris tried to slow roll a four and he felt it went off, and that would have been the direction it went off. Now, is it going to be a long 2-5 combination here for Bustamante? 1-0 in favor of the Philippines. Well, these two are such accurate and inventive shot makers, it would appear so. He's lost the white. Foul shot. And Ball Croatia will find it. Start the clock. Squeals, yells, no cheers as the cue ball went in. Just didn't quite get into the white as intended. And the four, with ball in hand, he's going to drop right behind the four, not behind the seven. Wow, that's close. Too close for comfort. Croatia has to be delighted to see themselves into the second round. What a nightmare not match a they had against Vietnam last year. Extension. Unbelievable misses. Saw them lose a heartbreak Hill Hill match in the opening round. Mind you, Ivica Putnik wasn't Stojanovic's partner then. Oh, it was in. Cue ball contacted it and bumped it away. But that four was tracking to the corner. Then it was in and then denied. What can the magician conjure up? With those two great minds sorting the dilemma out. I guarantee it'll be the right shot. Extension. Whether it's executed properly or not is another story. <laughs> He's 53 years of age, Efren Reyes, and still at the peak of the sport. Is he going for the billiard here, Phil? He is. And he's a little unlucky. I wasn't sure whether that four had gone past 
to allow the billiard onto the eight. Obviously, Reyes and Django put their minds together and saw otherwise. Yes, just drew the cue ball back, didn't he, and made that. Unlucky, really, the four hit the bump of the middle pocket. Oh, what a shot from Bustamante. Slow roll with tons of right-hand check. And still slotted that one into the corner, Phil. Degree of difficulty, 10. Best word to describe the Philippines in round one, subdued, not their best. Tonight, though, it looks as though they mean business. Uh, you may see a left-handed Reyes play this, or right-handed, sorry. Getting ahead of myself there. Nicely slotted that nine into the corner and establishes a two-rack lead. Philippines to break, leading by two racks to nil. Rack number three, Bustamante with the controls. Oh, that nine just did a little right turn in front of the cue ball. It could well be enough to hide the two. Yes, right at the death, wasn't it? Oh, that rolled on him, and he, he's smiling because he knows it went to the right. Ball in hand. Start the clock. Rolling that instantly, he started grinning as he saw the cue ball turn off. And with ball in hand, Croatia's not going to get a better chance than this to take their first rack. Putnik. Hands over to Stojanovic. Well, that's not ideal. You'd like to have been the other side of this six. So I think all Ibiza can do is draw this back and again wrong sided on the seven so he's not going to be able to get as close to that eight as he would have liked and trying to load it up with spin is what created that miss and if you've been watching this tournament from the get-go, you'll know the bogey ball for so many players has been the seven. Three cushions. He's trying to hit this up the right-hand side cushion and bump it up towards the left center. And that's perfect speed. I couldn't have drawn that any better. Fantastic shot from Bustamante. Hour upon hour spent in those pool rooms in the Philippines. It's an apprenticeship that's turned into mastery. drops <laughs> look at the position on the eight Reyes is hurrying up to shoot this one before it does disappear quivering over that corner pocket they've not frozen the Croatians out by any means 
the outsiders just haven't accepted their chances. Well, Croatia had ball in hand, remember, and everything in the open in this rack. Failed to capitalize, and that's the reason the scoreline now reads 3-0. The Philippines over Croatia. Francisco Bustamante, age 43, uses a bear cue. And the Knoxville Bear, Buddy Hall, his favorite player. He doesn't like overbearing officials. Well, I wonder what he thinks of Michaela Tab right now. They won the World Cup of Pool last year. He's done it all. Rack four, Philippines to break, leading by three. Two of the legends from the country that gives us so much in the way of nine ball. Buddy Hall, the Knoxville Bear. Knoxville, home of the Tennessee Volunteers, of course, that great American college football side. Tell you what, who would volunteer to play the Philippines at the moment? The first match. Here this evening, a Hill Hill decider between Malta and the USA. Well, that was the appetizer. Still to come, it's going to be Japan against Holland A team. Everyone will be sticking around for that one, but this one is front and center in everybody's focus. The top seeded Philippines up against Croatia. Perfect speed on that one. I wonder if he even allowed a little bit, Phil, as he played that shot. Oh, it's going to be the jump cue. Stojanovic, very tall, and that certainly won't hurt him playing this shot. Cueing down steeply. Foul shot. Hit it too hard. Little too much adrenaline. You can see him, he's disgusted with that effort. And it likely will prove very costly. One more luck, just overhit it. Efren will plant the seven and leave the one to the same pocket, the two the same end of the table. You have to fear the worst for Croatia right now. And the more racks go the way of the Philippines, the more this crowd will just love it. They've only heard of the great Reyes and Bustamante. Their parents speak of them. Now they get to see them in person. <laughs> Leaving a nice angle on this four. Get the cue ball back towards the middle. That five looks like it passes the six to the bottom left as we look. It's just second nature. It really is. I'm not sure if they're given a cue as soon as they're old enough to stand. Reyes and Bustamante, the top seeded defending champions in the World Cup of Pool, now vault out to a 4 0 advantage. here in Rotterdam, rather subdued. It's a symphony that's being orchestrated in front of their eyes. They're all bearing witness, and they want to be able to tell all their friends and family that they've seen the best play. 
And you know, Jim, Rank under the gun, it's one thing having a reputation, it's another consistently living up to it. And that's what Bustamante and Reyes do all around the world. The lines of communication, Phil, wherever they play, if there's a Philippine community anywhere in that country, they'll find these two. Francisco and Efren certainly have the speed of the breakdown. And what's worse, you're starting to drop on that one. Closing match of the first round was extremely tight. USA beat Malta 8-7. Right now, Stojanovic and Putnik staring into the abyss. And staring, it's not too early to say, at a possible whitewash. A little straighter than Efren would have liked. Francisco's not going to be able to get that cue ball away from that right-hand cushion. Really pinch the pocket just ever so slightly to give Efren a little room to cue into that white. I remember watching Reyes play in Louisville, the Derby City Classic. He played all night long, Phil. And when I got up the next morning, he was on the table practicing. Never seen anything like it. Don't think the Croatians have. Five nil and counting. Reyes and Bustamante storming their way into the quarterfinals. Three left. <laughs> Efren Reyes, 53 years of age. The Q Filipino special. That applies to him as well. His favorite player, Mike Sigel, who he beat in the King of the Hill to win $200,000 last year. He lists winning the World Cup of Pool alongside Francisco Bustamante Rack last six. year Philippines as one of his spray, career highlights. He's got many, many of those. Efren breaking off. Rack number six. Oh, he's lost the white. Foul Straight shot. into that side pocket. The first hiccup from the back arm of the magician. And it wasn't kicked in, Phil. Just overhit it. Well, Croatia have had ball in hand before. This time, they simply have to capitalize. If only for respectability. Just a little short of ideal position. He's got to jack up a little on this. Shouldn't pose any problems because natural path takes the cue ball for the six. Does. They've just come unstuck. And again, just trying to hold that cue ball. He just had a little more angle than he would have ideally preferred, but still no excuses there. That's just having been shut out for so long and your back arm getting rusty. The four was so deep in the pocket, Buster Matthew decided to play it. Cushion first with lots of right-hand running side, and it's worked out to perfection. Yeah, Ivica Putnik and Filip Stojanovic, much better players than they've been allowed to show here. Not afraid to run that cue ball around the table. Not when it's on a string. To increase the lead to 6-0. And 
And it'll be Bustamante with the break in rack seven. Wanting just two more to book that quarterfinal spot. Two whitewashes in the brief history of this party polka.net World Cup of Pool. Japan beat Indonesia 9-0 in the first round last year in Newport, Wales. The Philippines beat Malta by the same score. Rack seven. Can the Filipinos Philippines keep break, their six, second rack, clean sheet? Francisco's had the measure of the break. He's got the speed. And that one ball just kicked when it was tracking over towards that left corner. Yes, the contact that made the one awkward deposited the eight ball, but... Well, that was played as a shot to nothing. He did not intend leaving this one ball on, and if there's a path through to this, Croatia can count themselves very fortunate. You can see he dropped on the four. That would have been the next, and that one is wide open. This sails through. Position, well, that's another story. had to force that and you could hear the cue rubbing against the mic on Stojanovic's shirt he had no choice he had to try and force that and load that cue ball up with top spin it was the only way he was going to get back towards the four psychologically I think there's a level of acceptance going on an acceptance of defeat Well, they're going to get another chance. Just slightly overhit that one. And Efren, he's not the best in the world at jumping, so he's not even going to go at it. He's going to be kicking off the side cushion. Now he might be the best in the world at kicking. And he just hit that a bit too hard. He's not happy with himself there. Come on, Ivica. La. Lock this one up. I'd like to see Croatia bother the scorekeeper here. The Philippines just put you under so much pressure. It's almost like you've got to climb a mountain when you try to compete against them. And Croatia, rest assured, played a lot better than this against Russia. <laughs> Never easy to get over that intimidation factor when you play a couple gentlemen whose names appear a more favorite players list than anybody else. But, but! <laughs> Reyes once again drops his partner into quicksand. The crowd loving it. They're smiling. If it was 6 6, do you think you'd be smiling after this shot, Phil? Nope. He's got such an endearing personality at the table, though, hasn't he? smile about that one. Well, he's left the nine into the side.
for 7-0. And the nine deposited into the side pocket. That was a, that was definitely a wreck to remember from the Filipino stars, and they know it. A little bit of magic on display here. Seven nil to the number one seeds. And the Croatian pair, well, how did they handle that? Putnik shaking his head but smiling he says a little bit quieter please rack number eight and that's the last break you're going to see from the filipinos well the simplest of one two combinations coming up It's just been fantastic, hasn't it? Yes, it's been one-sided, but who cares? Let's be frank about this. Everyone's come to see the Philippines. They have been the lambs, and we're watching the slaughter. Well, even the Croatians might have to agree with you. I think they came to watch the Philippines, too. <laughs> and they're still laughing about the last rack. Reyes probably teasing Bustamante and saying, well, let's see if I can make life difficult for you yet again. That was a great shot from Efren. Perfect position on the three. Just a handful of pots away from the quarterfinals. But this not the simplest of run outs, Jim. Well, the five is the problem ball. Reyes is going to try and snick this into the side. Off two cushions, develop the five. And look at this. He's dropped right where he needed to be. He's now got the five at his mercy. A great shot from Efren there. And lest us forget it was developing that four that laid the foundation for that shot from Bustamante. So these guys are in perfect sync. They say that eight is a lucky number in China. I think it's going to be a lucky number in a few moments for the Philippines. Eight racks without reply. Croatia had a couple chances. There weren't many. But it was an entertaining performance from start to finish. The tournament's best, the top seeds, the defending champions, Efren Reyes and Bustamante. On to the quarterfinals where they will await the winner of France and China. 8-0, the score over Croatia. Confirmation of Team Philippines crushing 8 nothing win over Croatia. The holders, the first team into the quarterfinals. Time now to look back at a thrilling first round match between Malta and the USA. We join the action with Malta leading 7-6 in the race to eight. Malta's Tony Drago at the table. Off a chance here at a bank shot for Corey into the corner. The cue ball is nearest. Take the cue ball up table. I don't know why he would elevate on a well, shot. To pull the angle, to widen the angle. He was trying to get position, but a great shot. He elevated oh. to try and widen the angle a bit. And oh, no. how dangerous oh. that was. <laughs> Rodney is having fun out there. Yeah, and I said before the Dutch crowd would favor Malta, but uh, that's not true. Both teams, they just show a phenomenal pool. Great fun to watch, and it's, it's even money. Malta has just to be hoping for another opportunity. 
Just one more look Back at the table. And it's going to be 7-7, seven, seven, and I think Drago is preparing himself. Oh, yeah. If the opportunity arises, they've got to be equal to it. They have to be ready. And at 7-7, seven, seven, no prizes for guessing. This has been the match of the event to the stage. One rack to decide who moves through to round two. What a time for a golden break. You'd hear a yell from Rodney Morris that might wake the dead. 7-7. Seven, seven. Well, it's a soft break. I wanted him to wind up and let fly, but this is perfect. Very nicely controlled. Punched that one, slotted the wing ball in. And look at this for a lay. Okay, so yeah, just give me an angle to Right here, come out, come around, right? Yep. Then we can stop. Shot. Well, that's a quick instructional on pattern playing nine ball. It's right back where it is over here. Right there. <laughs> no, I really don't see where they could. Oh. Well, Rodney can either elect to leave the cue ball in the middle of the table or he can come right down the bottom cushion for the five next. What do you want me to do? I don't see any danger Should in coming down. Short, huh? um, yeah, but if we get down here, you're going to short. Short. I don't I don't make sure you Nor do I. I think he's High ball, touch of left. Exactly, off one cushion. Just make sure you don't foul here, that's all. Well, he's elected to do what Corey wanted. Bounce. Bounce up. That worked very nicely. I would have opted the same way as you, Alex, just off the one long cushion and, and you, come straight want, down no, the middle of the here. table. Two, come up here, get straight on this corner. Can you kill it? Because you need to get on this line right here. So either kill it for the six kill in the side, side or go kill three rails around, around. Come around to shoot okay. the six in the same pocket. Just come off that second diamond pass there. Good speed. Yeah, that's it. One. Oh, oh, stop. <laughs> stop. Not bad. They were 4-1 down at one stage, 5-2, and 7-4. No, you're not, you're not even, oh, you will be? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at, look at, watch my you, body. You can come over here. Watch my body, bro. All right, I'll watch your body. Oh, he wants Corey as a referee. Well, Tony, I think in his mind, it's over. Get down. Go. This is some kind of performance from the USA. Boy, did they have to dig deep for this. Everything has been asked of them. Malta came out with guns blazing. Slide up in here. All credit to Malta, Jim. But the highest of respect for the two Yankees. Perfect. Sorry, man. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tony Drago knows that his dream of the World Cup just went away. The nine goes down. The Americans survive the scare of the event. Eight, seven, they scrape home, and they will oppose Switzerland in round two. A game effort from Malta falls just short. Join us again next time for the one that the Rotterdam crowds are waiting for. That's Holland A against Japan in the second round of the PartyPoker.net World Cup of Pool.